Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage and today we're going to be working on this amazing Mercedes 190E and uh, I'm trying to finish the interior restoration on this car. If you haven't watched the video series, which I made it over a year ago, about the Palomino leather um, in interior restoration, so be sure to check it out. The link is going to be up here and also in the description. Uh, and uh, I still have to restore two front seats on this car because the passenger side seat is actually fine there's no like there's no tears but it needs to be redyed so that's what i'm going to be doing today um i have the palomino sand paint and i'm gonna go ahead take out the seat clean it up really good and we're gonna redye the passenger side seat on this car so this is what this seat looks like it's uh, in a pretty good condition. I just have to take it out, clean it, and re-dye it. All right. This part right here was already re-dyed, so it's all good. Just have to do the same to the seat now. And as you can see, the driver's side seat, I have another plan for it. And that will be in the next video. A few moments later. All right, so the seat is out. I cleaned up some of this area a little more. And... Uh, see this right there I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning it and then I'll start dyeing it as soon as I can yeah everything else is good just gotta clean it up some more I've cleaned this interior like about three years ago so here's the seat what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it take some of it apart and dye it afterwards all right guys so this piece you have to be really really careful when you take it out but as you can see it needs to be taken out because um you know, it's got all these clips and everything so i'm gonna i'm gonna clean and um wash all these parts before i re-dye them this needs to be cleaned up really good too as you can see yeah i think the last time when i did the seats when i took out the seats i i cleaned them really good and even painted these frames but I didn't really like clean or took off, I didn't take off this plastic. Be sure to clean out all these uh, grooves in these uh, bottoms. It's really important that there's no dirt or anything in there. All right, this piece is all cleaned up. Unfortunately, this was already like broken like this, sadly, but it's all cleaned up and everything. It may not look like it, but I was scrubbing it with a bunch of different chemicals and all that but it's still it's gonna look like this it's been like that basically but i degreased it and everything i'm gonna put it right here because it's gonna be uh gonna be ready to um uh, repaint this and now i have to focus on this panel that panel as you can see i removed the uh seat net and final thing is gonna be right here this is this bad boy all right it's gonna be the biggest task So this is the paint that I'll be using. This is the Sam Palomino color dye, uh, 15323. And I'm gonna be using this amazing thing to restore my seats. All right, I already did the half of the interior. I just have to finish up these two front seats and everything's gonna be amazing after that. All right, guys, so as you can see, I prepped these uh, couple of pieces for paint. Now you have to make sure that everything is absolutely dry and clean, okay? So I'm waiting for this to uh, dry up a little more because it's still a little bit wet in some spots. So I'm gonna wait for that and I'm gonna get ready to paint these amazing parts, make them brand new again. So excited. I have soapy water here. I'm gonna start cleaning everything. Magic eraser is like really good stuff for you guys to clean all these areas really good make it nice before you actually apply the dye so i'm gonna focus on that and what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna separate these two halves so there's a couple bolts here and there's gonna be uh, these seat motors so there's gonna there's gonna be some wires coming down so we'll see how i'm gonna do it but i don't want to paint it just like this i want to separate these two halves okay so to remove this headrest in order for you to do that you actually have to remove this piece unfortunately like if you guys saw my video from over two years ago when i was doing all this the headrests were not working because there's plastics that were broken and 
the skateboard got too small, but unfortunately the plastics were broken. So anyways, to remove this, as you can see, that's part of the headrest right there. That part goes in here. So you just have to press on the spring out and push out this clip a little bit. And then this thing will come out carefully. Like so, as you can see. All right. And now I can proceed to cleaning some more of the seat. All right, I got the headrest ready for paint. I messed off these two chrome rods. Obviously, I don't want to paint that. And this is all cleaned up and everything and dry. And now I can go ahead and paint this. So now, after you remove the headrest, here's the line as you can see this is the factory still brand new and this is all ugly pink amino anyways these are the ones you have to remove so i just stick my finger in there uh, just kind of carefully pull it i know it's a pain and you got to be really careful but this you you really want these to come out because like you don't want these to get painted and all that so I'm gonna carefully try to pull them so they will come out just be a little gentle you know they've got that foam in there so looks like it's like a plastic washer really interesting design but it will go in there and the foam really has to be in between the washer and the head of this plastic part like in between that's where the foam goes but well eh, you know we'll figure it out i just had to take it out so we can properly dye this seat okay so this is what i learned when you take this out there's a washer okay so this is what i did to the washer just moved it down so on this one when you take it out with the other hand stick like a screwdriver in there and make sure this washer doesn't come out okay that's going to be like the best thing actually to do all right uh, over here it's fine it's gonna be okay but this is like the best method to do so pull it as you pull it stick a screwdriver in there and then that way that washer is just gonna stay in there that nylon washer right here so as you see as you're pulling it stick a screwdriver in between and keep that washer from coming out unfortunately this is how this thing came out as well it's just there's just no way i was able to hold it in there it was just a lot of pressure so this is what it is everything is okay nothing is broken so we're gonna be able to install everything just the way it was so i'm almost done cleaning the seat it's taking a while mainly because of these grooves uh i have to sit here and i just have to run my finger in these grooves to see there's still some dirt in there so you want to make sure that you clean these grooves really good there's nothing really left in there no garbage you know what i mean it's still dirty so gotta keep going so that's just the back part but the bottom part is gonna have the most junk All right, so now the back rest is connected to the bottom with these two bolts on this side, two on the other, 13 millimeter. So I'm gonna take these out and separate these two from each other.
All right, now I separated the seat a little bit. Like not all the way, nothing crazy because there's still cables here. So I was just being careful. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning. There's still a lot of junk here, as you can see. So I'm gonna finish cleaning it and I'll mask a bunch of stuff off. And we're gonna proceed to painting, re this seat assembly. And I have this support right there by the styrofoam. While you're here, also check the tightness of these bolts. This bolt is loose right here. This one is fine. This one is loose to so check all four. And these are already painted. Looking amazing. Look at this. Wow. What a difference. They're still drying, so and then a couple of these are also done. So I got it all max masked off right here. Okay, and the seat is all pretty much dry. I have to go over it one more time with a dry, clean paper towel. And uh, we're gonna be ready to dye this seat. All right, this is the final product. It looks just amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and install it into the car. Well, this was looking really weird and off color, so that's why I have to paint this one as well. And look at this after it's done. So beautiful. Look how beautiful this thing is now, right here. So nice.